First of all, we have to think about which components run the risk of wearing out. Well, I guess it could be the springs, right? Right. At some point, the arc springs shorten or the bearing wears out. With a testing tool, we can check this. The best thing about it is that we don't even have to remove the DMF. Wow, you guys really did think of it all, didn't you? Basically, we start with a visual inspection. We look if there's any grease coming out, and we also take a look at the condition of the friction surface. If everything is okay, I mount the testing tool and I'm ready to start the check. In principle, we differentiate between two measurements. The first is the amount of free play, which shows us the arc spring's length to see how worn out they are. The second test is a measurement of the rock. We check the bearing between the primary and secondary mass to see if there is any rock, and if so, how much. There are two further differences. If there is an even number of clutch plate mounting bolts, I can centralize the slotted arm. If there is an odd number of mounting bolts, it cannot be fixed centrally. As a result, we can't check the degree gauge. Therefore, the next test method would be counting the teeth on the starter ring gear. As you can see here, we have an even number of mounting screws, so it is placed in the center. The flywheel is locked by the locking dogs. This is because we don't want it to rotate, while the degree gauge is fixed with the slotted arm. We start in a counterclockwise direction, push a little against the spring force and push the spring into the arc spring channel. Then we slowly release the slotted arm until the spring force stops. After this, we set the degree gauge to zero. Then we push the arc spring in a clockwise direction, let it go slowly until the spring force stops and read off the value. In this case, it's 22 degrees. I've checked it before. The maximum value is 20 degrees, so the value has exceeded the wear limit. This one would be defective. Okay. Another testing method isn't necessary, but we will measure the rock just for you. Make sure the slotted arm is mounted with the dial gauge. We use the adapter as measuring point. Then we gently push the slotted arm towards the engine, using only light finger force. Then set the dial gauge to zero. After this, we pull with exactly the same force in the opposite direction and read off the value. One millimeter. The permitted maximum value is 1.6 millimeters. So this is within the tolerance range and permissible. You can find the values on the DVD in the toolbox or in RepExpert, the online workshop portal where it's always kept up to date.